All right, it is now time to do our match predictions for SummerSlam 2024, which is taking place in Cleveland at the Cleveland Browns Stadium. We do not live in Cleveland, but we do live in Ohio. So this uh, this event would be right in our backyard, you know, as, as we would say. And so the question is, is will we go to the event? When they first announced that this event was going to take place in Cleveland, at Cleveland Browns Stadium, me, Ethan, and Brady were like, we're going to go. There's no question about it. And then we realized that we were scheduled to be on vacation that week. We had this plan back early in the year, and we are going to be out of state. Things have changed, and we were, are not going to be out of state, at least, uh, well, not, not the, the trip we were going to be doing, far out of state. And so we had the opportunity early in the week. We said, you know what? There's still tickets available, several tickets available. We, can, we, can, we had them in queue. We were ready to go. And then we opted not to. Several different reasons. You know, it is a, it's not a cheap event. There's no question about that. Parking and tickets and all that. And then we, we decided we were going to have some friends come over. Or the boys were going to have some friends come over. Uh, the boys got a buddy. He's getting ready to go to college. It's kinda, they've been getting together all year watching events. We kind of wanted to do that. Royal Rumble's coming to Indy in January or in February. And that's inside. And we, we like Indy. And so we're kind of maybe thinking of that direction. But we opted not to do... SummerSlam. Plus, it's in the 90s today. They were calling for rain. I think they've changed that now. But anyway, we're going to be watching SummerSlam from our house, and we want to do our predictions for the event. We haven't done every event this year making predictions, but we wanted to do that. We're going to start out with the first match, which is the Intercontinental Championship, Sami Zayn versus Braun Breaker, a match I'm looking forward to. And all three of us, of course, picked Braun Breaker winning it. I think we all picked Braun Breaker winning at Money in the Bank. We were surprised that he didn't. But there's no question about it. The way they're pushing Braun, he will win this. Sammy's been champion since WrestleMania, so it's time to take the belt off of him. He's been a good champion, though. So we all three got Braun Breaker winning this match. I hope it's not a complete squash. But Braun kind of came out of the last event looking a little weak. So I definitely think he wins this, Braun Breaker winning the belt. Of course, we're not always excited about the women's matches, but I'll be honest with you. They're... they're they're both kind of good this year. They both at least have build-up. None of us are big Nia Jax fans. She's the queen of the ring. She's going to be taking on Bayley. She's been champions of WrestleMania. And all three of us have Nia Jax winning the title tonight. However, I think we all three predict that Tiffany Stratton is going to cash in tonight. Nia will win the belt. And then Tiffany's going to ultimately cash in and um, probably turn face and um, so I think it's what's going to happen. Stratton will probably win the belt tonight. Maybe not, but we all three have Bailey losing. Uh, moving on to the next match, which is the match for the United States Championship. Logan Paul has been champion for a long time now, like 200 and some days, taking on L.A. Knight. Brady went with Paul retaining, and I think that could happen. He could. There's been rumors that Jake Paul could show up and possibly uh, uh, cost, uh, or cost L.A. Knight. Ethan and I both go with L.A. Knight, and I think he's going to win this. You know, there was talk maybe last fall, L.A. Knight winning the title, but nobody was going to, you know, he wasn't going to dethrone Roman Reigns, and then it's like, have they have they missed the opportunity with L.A. Knight? And then they start talking about the U.S. title. It's been building and building and building. I'm going to go with L.A. Knight, and Ethan is as well, winning this match because he needs to. And Logan Paul's been champion forever, so I don't think it'll hurt him. He'll move on to something else. So I go LA Knight winning that match as well. Another big women's uh, title match, Liv Morgan versus Rhea Ripley. This is a match. This is probably the biggest buildup for a women's match in a long time. And, of course, you know, Liv was hurt. She come back. Then, uh, then uh, Rhea was hurt. And you got Dominic Mysterio and the Judgment Day. And really, a couple weeks ago, I would have said Rhea is going to come back and win the belt. There's no question about it. I'm not going that way now. I say Liv retains. I think Dominic, Dominic joins up with Liv Morgan. I really do. And I think that's what Ethan said as well. So we all got Liv retaining, which is a, which is a shock because, like I said, a couple weeks ago, I said Rhea's going to come back. And she still could come back and, and win the title. But we all got Liv Morgan uh, retaining. And then moving on to really I, almost three main events. You have CM Punk, his first singles match in, what, 10 years taking on um, Drew McIntyre. What a build this has been. And this is a huge, huge match. Probably the match I'm most looking forward to um, just because they've really done a good job. Uh, Triple H has done a good job building this feud up. And 
Brady goes with CM Punk. Ethan goes Drew McIntyre. I can see Drew uh, because he's really been at the bottom of everything. He won the title at WrestleMania. CM Punk cost him. He won, you know, he won the match in, in his homeland, and then CM Punk cost him. How could how could Punk come back after ten years and not win? Ethan or Brady goes Punk. Ethan goes McIntyre. I'm on the fence, but I'm gonna go go ahead and go see him Punk. But I could see Seth turning and costing Punk and setting up for their feud. But I don't know. I, I, just, I still I'm still gonna go see him Punk winning. And then the two title matches: the World Heavyweight Championship, Damian Priest taking on Gunther. And, of course, Damian, you know, I wasn't su- I was excited when he won it because he cost Drew at WrestleMania. But, you know, I, you know, I didn't know how great of a champion he'd been. And he's been – he's done well. But there's no question about it. Gunther is going to win this match. We all three – to me, this is the easiest one to predict. We all three got Gunther winning the belt. They have pushed him. He had the long intercontinental title match. How could they build him up, king of the ring, and not become the champion? So we all three – have Gunther winning the match tonight. And then, of course, the main event, Cody Rhodes versus Solo Sokoa. And, of course, the uh, Bloodline winning the tag team titles last night. I didn't like that because I wanted hometown Gargano to retain. But they did. I understand why they won. And they'll probably be better champions, honestly. But you got the championship. Is there really a chance Solo Sokoa could become the world champion? Bloodline rules, I guess, now. Uh, I think that's going to set up for Roman Reigns to return. I think we all think that. Whether it happens or not, I don't know. Um, but we all got Cody winning. I don't see him losing the title. Not to Solo Sokoa. Not now. Not yet. We'll see what happens. But we all three got Cody retaining. And will Roman Reigns return tonight? Will there be some surprises? Some debuts? Some returns? I've heard all kinds of rumors of maybe Alexis Bliss coming back or Charlotte Flair. What about some of these other people debuting? There's some AEW guys coming in, but probably not yet. Should be fun to watch. SummerSlam tonight in Cleveland. We probably should have went oh, oh, once in a lifetime, but we didn't. Enjoy the show. We didn't get your predictions. Yeah. Who's going to win? Sami Zayn versus Braun Breaker. Um, Sami Zayn. Okay. What about, um, what about Bailey versus Nia Jax? You probably don't know who any of those girls are, do you? Bailey. Okay. What about Come. LA Knight versus Logan Paul? L.A. Knight. Is he your favorite? Yeah. One of your favorite. What about Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley? Um, Liv Morgan. Oh, Liv Morgan. Okay, what about um, CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre? CM Punk. Okay, and then what about Damian Priest versus Gunther? Gunther. And then Cody Rhodes versus Solo Sokoa? Cody Rhodes. Who's your favorite wrestler? Um, Cody Rhodes, um... And, and um, some of the other wrestlers I know. All right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Frostmore Wrestling Predictions.